Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here with a very particular Android app review, or in this case, a particular application for an Android app. So I was recently looking around just at apps in the Google Play Store, and I came across this app called Graphis, which allows you to extract um, hex color codes from images stored on your device. So for me, I was thinking, well, it's a great app, but where would I use it? And I got to thinking that, at least on my OnePlus uh, 5T, that we can change the display colors on the notification bar just by going into the accent colors and selecting a custom color. And I got to thinking, well, that'd be great because I just set up this wallpaper and I want a color theme to match. So what you do is first, after installing Graphis, which is free in the Google Play Store, you open the um, wallpaper of choice for whatever you're going to use, and you get a whole series of different hex colors for where you want, for whatever you might want to use in your um, accent color, whether it's on your Oxygen OS device or, uh, which I'll also show you, in Nova Launcher. So, for example, in this case, you get all these different hex codes. You, for the one you want to use, you can either memorize it and type it in later or you can high, long press on the color you want it'll let you know that it's a copy to the clipboard so if you're in um, oxygen os uh, namely on your oneplus device um, you'll go into back into settings you'll go to display you'll go to accent color and when you click on your custom accent color you'll see the hex code down at the bottom so all you do is erase the whole thing you can long press and paste you get your hex code there It'll copies the extra um, hashtag or pound sign, so you delete the extra one and you click OK. You'll hit the check mark, and now you have the color you want. So you'll hit OK again. It'll let you know that it's changing the theme. Once it's done, it'll tell you success. So now when you drag down, you see that the um, icon colors are for what you want. Um, so now if you're not an Oxygen OS device, this uh, may or may not be an option available to you on your Android device. But if you are using um, Action, or sorry, um, Nova Launcher, you can select a color of choice. So right now I have gray, but I'm going to go back into Graphis and pick one of the reddish colors. So I'm going to pick one of these darker ones, so this one on the bottom right. So I've copied the one I want. So now when you go into your... Uh, Nova Launcher settings and then you're going to go into your folder settings and the window style and you'll see that you can change the background color so you'll click there. When you click on the little settings icon next to advanced you can put in your own hex code. So I'll delete the one that's there. I'll paste in the one I want and I'll click set. It changes the color there for the preview. Um, you can adjust the saturation, brightness, and hue if you want. Um, if you want to adjust the transparency you can do that. Um, but once you've set what you want, and I think I'll do a little bit of a transparency um, that way, and then I'm going to exit out. So now when I go back to my home screen, I now have this 25% transparency red color that nicely matches the red on my wallpaper because I ex the colors were extracted from the image wallpaper itself. Now I know that um, Action Launcher does this as well, and if you're into the custom live wallpaper, you can... Um, have it automatically extract it that way as well. But if you don't want to have any of those options or you prefer Nova Launcher over Action Launcher, you don't want to necessarily use um, Custom My Wallpaper Maker for your wallpaper, then this is definitely the way to go. So that's really all there is for this. I just wanted to share a quick app that I like. Um, if you want additional um, palettes, then you do need to buy the... Um, um, you need, do need to unlock the app, which is $1.99, I believe, and then you can save your color palette so you can view and manage anything you save and have extra options there. But it's pretty nifty, and you get options, or more or less options, based on um, the number of palettes you set um, and the kind of image that you are looking for. So that's really all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, then you can always find me on Twitter at PatelN01. This <clears throat> review and all reviews can be found on the website or um, on the website at PatelN01.com. And um, if you want to help support this review, get it early and in a custom URL or a custom RSS feed of your choice to put in your podcast client and get all episodes and reviews early. 
then be sure to visit patreon.com slash patel n01 but that's all there is for this particular review thanks for tuning in and until next time